Hello, today I'm going to show you soft painting photo effect. So this is uh, original image which I took and this is the final result. Of course you can get uh, bigger brushes and have a little more of the painting um, but I chose to do it like that. So let's get started, duplicate the layer, uh, use effects plus Gaussian blur and blur this image a lot. For example, about 80 on this image, mm, something like that. Then make sure it's kind of light, so go to adjustments, curves, and like that. It should be kind of light, like so. Whites should be whites and no harsh uh, shadows or something like that. Now change this hardness to zero percent use eraser tool with big brush size and just erase something that you want to keep in high detail for example i blurred uh, outside of the image but i left uh, kind of detailed this part so i'm going to click click and don't just uh, don't just uh, click and drag uh, drag just click click like so and you should get something awesome. Now use curves again, probably, and make this with a bit of with a bit of um, detail in shadows. Make it a bit uh, darken. Use new layer. Choose any color you want. I will use red because. Uh, this image, in this image, uh, red, white, and green dominates, so I'm going to choose one of those colors, red, and just fill with uh, paint bucket tool. Yeah, paint bucket tool. Fill it, double click on the layer, change it to color dodge, and change to, I don't know, about 50 or something, maybe. And. This should give some uh, color in those shadows, so it will be in any color you choose, but not in black, uh, which kind of gives you some kind of softness, maybe, <laughs> I think so. So now, um, where this image flatten and duplicate this layer. Effects, artistic, oil painting, and choose any settings you want on this one. As I said, you can choose big brush size, uh, low brush size, whatever, uh, this corners, whatever it means. <laughs> so yeah, cho choose by yourself on this one. I want some detail in my image, so I choose something like this maybe. Uh, duplicates uh, top layer again so you will have three layers now and use adjustments brightness contrast and change contrast to about 20 and change this layer blending mode just double click on the layer to overlay and about a half opacity And you can flatten this image again, so image flatten. And now this effect is kind of optional, but you can use uh, where this effects, maybe photo and cross processing. So check this. Change whatever you want. I will just choose uh, red color because it kind of dominates and I want to use it. And uh, preserve. Uh, should be okay. If you don't want, you can skip this uh, effect, but before and after. It just gives something, some nice look to it. 
so my previously made result and this result so it, I think it's kind of cool you can see some details right here so yeah thanks for watching and I see you next time bye